Hello everyone, I'm Koike Yuriko, Governor of Tokyo. It is an honor and pleasure to be the first city leader to speak at the Southeast Asia Development Symposium. The world is now up against the task of making a sustainable recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic amid an increasingly harsh international situation. Against this backdrop, a greater mandate than ever before has been given to cities. We must play concrete roles in cooperation with a diversity of actors. From last year, our city, under the banner of sustainable recovery, has been accelerating measures so that we do not just return to life before COVID, but are able to realize a city that is sustainable into the future. Last summer, with the cooperation of many, Tokyo was able to host the Olympic and Paralympic Games Tokyo 2020, despite many difficulties. I'm determined to develop on the many legacies the Games left us, to create a future Tokyo that is brimming with diversity and inclusion. Let me now introduce several policies I am promoting to achieve this under the keywords green, digital, and inclusive. First is green. Climate change is a challenge that humanity must battle together. The latest IPCC report points out that climate change is causing widespread losses and damages. There is absolutely no time to waste. So it is time to act. Responding to this challenge is a pillar of sustainable recovery. In order to become a zero emission Tokyo by 2050, we announced an initiative we call Carbon Half, in which Tokyo reduces greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by the year 2030. We must work to decarbonize socio-economic structures in all areas, from business to daily life and urban development. Over 70% of Tokyo's carbon emissions originate from buildings. Buildings are used for decades. That means that new buildings will decide Tokyo's environmental performance as a city over the long term. We are currently carrying out studies on the introduction of a new scheme that will require certain new houses and other small to medium-sized buildings to install solar power systems. We will also advance the creation of a sustainable city model in the Tokyo Bay Area, which was the stage for the Tokyo 2020 Games. In the next fiscal year, we will begin introducing the latest renewable energy technologies to the central breakwater area. In the district where the Olympic and Paralympic village was located, we will build hydrogen stations in cooperation with the private sector. When we enter the practical application stage, hydrogen will be supplied through pipelines to community blocks. This will be a first for Japan. The power of finance is what will define the creation of a virtuous cycle of environmental policies and, con and economic growth. We were promoting the Tokyo Green Finance Initiative as a strategic measure for the development of Tokyo's green finance. We plan on issuing 40 billion yen in Tokyo green bonds in the next fiscal year to fund Tokyo's measures for the environment. Along with green initiatives, another effort holding the key to sustainable recovery is digital. The promotion of digital transformation is also important to build resilience to natural disasters and to address the issues of our growing society. As an industry, academia, government collaboration, 
We are promoting the Digital Twin Realization Project, where real places in Tokyo, including the people and cityscape, are reproduced in cyberspace like a twin. This will, for example, allow us to visualize congestion and take more sophisticated measures in times of emergency through a real-time understanding of congestion and people flow above and below ground. By 2030, we will build a digital twin for all of Tokyo. We will also install smart water meters with communications functions in 130,000 households by 2024. Water leaks and water usage or non-usage in households can be grasped in real time. This will also help watch over our elderly people living alone. We plan to install them in all households in Tokyo by 2030s. Are you aware of the Japanese word choju? This means living a long life that is healthy and fulfilling. Japan takes much pride in this, but we will make it even more wonderful through initiatives taken from the next fiscal year in collaboration with institutions such as the Tokyo Metropolitan Geriatric Medical Center. One will be the development of an app that allows clear understanding of health conditions. The results of daily measurements such as uh, blood pressure and pulse rate taken by smartwatches and other such devices will be analyzed in combination with data from health checkups. This will encourage the elderly to change their behavior and become healthier. Under the third keyword, inclusive, is the creation of a truly barrier-free society. Through the Tokyo 2020 Games, we were able to share the precious value of a society where people understand each other and live together in harmony. We will develop upon this value and make Tokyo a more inclusive city. I have been working to make Tokyo a city where women can be more active. I was able to reduce wait lists for daycare by nearly 90% and launched a network of female government and business leaders. Tokyo will also introduce a quota system in its panels and other organizations to increase the participation of women in decision making and, by doing so, include diverse values and ideas in the services of the metropolitan government. This fall, Tokyo will establish a partnership auth system which will grant certification to sexual minorities as publicly recognized couples. This will reduce problems that such couples face in daily life and promote understanding of LGBTQ among the people of Tokyo. Lastly, I'd like to speak about the theme of today's symposium, tourism. As raised by the United Nations in its slogan, tourism promotes mutual understanding, learning about other countries and cultures, nurtures a spirit of respect for the history and activities of people in that area. Conversely, in areas where there is no peace, tourism is not possible. Although the pandemic is greatly restricting the movement of people in preparation for the coming recovery in tourism demand, Tokyo will promote various initiatives. Firstly, we will provide unique assistance for the hosting of hybrid mice events in light of changes in hosting styles and promote the attraction of international conferences. We will also advance measures to raise the attractiveness of food, 
which is one of the Tokyo's strong appeals, and also to promote sustainable tourism that gives consideration to the local culture and environment. While looking forward to the day when we can again welcome visitors to Tokyo, we will build Tokyo into a tourist destination that people want to visit again and again. We hosted an international conference in August last year where Tokyo called to the world for the realization of a sustainable recovery. Tokyo plans to launch a new global network so that cities can share their expertise and their initiatives. We are now facing the challenges of the climate crisis, infectious disease, and upheavals in the international situation. That is precisely why it is important for us to take this time to envision what lies beyond when we have overcome this crisis, and then to move forward. Let us walk together toward a sustainable future for cities and the world. Thank you for your kind attention.